Ah, we're back. to my domain. You are magic. I have no clue how the hell you got in there, but you did it, sister. The company you should ex know exactly how now, it got in let's there. Let's find what we want and beat it. My it's like the whole thing. <laughs> Man, I can see why the principal locks this room up. Fancy faux art crap. He must want everybody to know he has money, but no taste. Yeah, well. He's a stuffy 40-something-year-old man, you know? How can you trust somebody who has a fucking bronze bird in his office? Hey, that bird's pretty cool. Yes, if only the principal had a Monet or Picasso, you'd still be a Blackwell. Eat me. I'm gonna pill for the papers on this ugly-ass desk. Ugh. I hate this. I hate that they're doing this. I know this is a bit of a rerun from the last okay, episode, sure. but like... It's ugly, but damn, is boy. It Bad idea. Bad idea. <laughs> this is your chance to truly get all deductive and shit, Sherlock. Find us some clues about Rachel or Kate or Nathan. Anybody. I want to find some clues about your mom, Kate. Chloe. I got Kate on the brain. <laughs> okay. Ooh, Warren. Unabomber. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Well, I guess that helps. Not can I read this file. Sums up Kate, shy and sweet. Kate and Beverly world. Marsh, September twelfth, nineteen ninety five, Arcady Bay, Oregon. Mar, Nar, Mar. I can't read her parents' names. <laughs> Update. At present time, there is a security investigation into a controversial video allegedly featuring Kate Marsh at a Vortex Club party that has been uploaded onto the internet without her knowledge or alleged consent, along with her claim of being taken to the hospital during the party. See the attached files for complete details. Kate Marsh represents the very best of the students at Blackwell Academy. Her GPA is consistently outstanding, along with her optimistic attitude and a quiet work, quiet work ethic. Her Curricular activities with the Meals on Wheels program has been acknowledged on KBAY 7 News. And her diverse religious diverse religious studies group has been a complete addition. Welcome. Oh, God. It's not going well. Welcome addition to the wide range of student-led spiritual programs at Blackwell. She also has one of the best attendance records in the school's history. Principal Wells. As a school nurse, I should inform you that Kate Marsh appears to have experienced some recent emotional or physical trauma. I spoke to her briefly, and she was upset and vague, but vague, and refused to talk further with me. I think it's important that we keep our eye open and make sure she's not under duress from other classmates, as is my suspicion. Regards, Anne Marie Berenci. So it wasn't just other people it was two more files it was to like go. staff members too who were bringing it to their attention that something was up and nobody did anything nobody helped her i certainly can't use this i mean the way that the principal handled when max told him about prescott nathan i wouldn't expect anything less <laughs> humbly Search this cabinet. More. Rachel doesn't seem More so files. troubled based on More files. But there's not much here about the police investigation. Rachel Dawn Amber, July 22nd, 1994. Long Beach, California. Amber... Unfortunately, Rachel Amber has stopped attending class for the past month, and she's left no contact with students or faculty for the past month. Her parents are, at the present, unaware of her whereabouts, and Blackwell hopes for her quick return to continue her academic excellence. Brief summary, Rachel Amber is the quintessential student representation of Blackwell Academy. She excels in all of her studies and extracurricular activities, which are numerous. Popular with both students and faculty, she has the de facto qualities of scholarship and leadership that is a hallmark of Blackwell's legacy. Her diverse goals include a career in international law and fashion modeling. There is no doubt that Rachel will achieve all of her dreams with Blackwell as the fulcrum. This is Lieutenant Chris Rossi, 
Just wanted to let you know that Rachel Amber's investigation has officially been closed on our end. We always hope for that one magic clue that once again Arcadia Bay covers up another secret. We always keep our eyes and ears open, but that's all we can do for now. Thanks for all your help, Lieutenant Chris Rossi. Arcadia Bay PD. Man, yes. I don't blame the principal for expelling Chloe. Bad Chloe. <sighs> Chloe Elizabeth Price. March 11th, 1994. Chloe Price is a problematic student at Blackwell, despite the best efforts of the faculty and administration to guide her academically. Chloe does not welcome and is is does little homework and is often willfully belligerent to her teachers. She has caused numerous class disruptions with inappropriate comments and rude gestures to fellow students. She was recently suspended for spray-painting graffiti in the parking lot. Even though Chloe is an intelligent student with potential, she chooses to squander it on empty rebellion against a non-mandatory institution. Chloe Price is no longer a student at Blackwell. See attached file reports. I knew people like that. I think everybody probably knows people like that. Let's like, they're smart, and they can probably do a lot if they try, but they don't me. want to try. Douche. Idiot. And nothing here. Nothing there. Was that a oh a whiskey bottle? Wow, sir, this will so not come in handy. Well, all right. I don't have to say wowzer. <laughs> what are you for? I mean, I probably I say dumber stuff than that. <laughs> okay, what else are we looking for? Here. Look at this pile. Nope. I think I already looked at that. Look at this one. That is so cool that my signature actually counted. Go, Miss Grant. Dear Miss Grant, as principal of Blackwell Academy, it is my glad, happy, fortunate blah, 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 to inform you that your petition to block the uh, of a new surveillance system has received enough signatures for the school to re, 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 re reject the plan. It is not my policy to take sides in these matters, but we encourage the faculty and student body to participate in their school's operation. However, I did recognize the controversial nature of these cameras and shared your concerns for possible invasions of privacy. Thank you for your passion and for inspiring Blackwell students to make their voices heard. I hope they will feel empowered by the outcome of your petition. Best, Principal Wells. God, that handwriting. What is this? I guess being a bully is in the Prescott DNA. It's come to my attention the Prescott family crest has been removed from the library wall for no apparent reason. This local historical crest is required for, as per the donation terms to the library, or the donation will be rescinded, among others, for the school. Along with that, I understand that the tragic event involving Miss Marsh gives you pause. But I would suggest that canceling Thursday's party is not conducive to the can-do spirit of Blackwell Academy. I expect you to reconsider and come to the same obvious conclusion. Thank you, Sean Prescott. What a lovely sounding man. Okay, I gotta find one more file, right? I read that one. Can't get into trash. Did I pee? No, it's not those books. I already looked. Where did it? In the cabinet, I already looked in that cabinet. These files, here. Tumbleweeds. Tumbleweeds. How about these what files, here? This bin is empty. Weird. This asshole we has a spotless record. Nathan Prescott continues his family's historical legacy at Blackwell Academy with a stellar academic record and a variety of extracurricular activities, including work with the Arcady Bay Homeless Fund. Nathan is also popular with the students and faculty. He stands as a proud representation of Blackwell. His middle name is Joshua. He's a year younger than Kate. Or is it the same year? It was the same year. Oh, there's more. I want to look at more. Like, um, this file is going to be so spotless, I'll projectile vomit. Victoria... Maribeth? Noribeth? It's gotta be Maribeth. Ain't nothing... No... Noribeth. Born in Seattle, Washington. Victoria chases the gold standard at Blackwell Academy, student with a constantly high GPA and extracurricular activities that reflect her career goals in photography. Victoria also receives high marks from faculty for her devotion to the Vortex Club, among her organization's 
devoted to Blackwell Spirit and history. I have to make sure Warren doesn't have a criminal background. Warren? D D Dowd? Dowd? It doesn't have his middle name on that on that page. Warren is considered an exemplary student and presents a long tradition in excellence in the science at Blackwell. He has the gift of or curse of gab depending on the faculty. Some have accused him of playing science pranks, but this is not confirmed by his science teacher, Mrs. Grant. Miss Grant. We hope Warren focuses academic visions and continues towards his bright future. Well, all right. I was hoping there was one on Max. Is there one on Max somewhere? I want to read the one on Max. I'm going to read a file on Max. Is there one such thing? I'd drink too if I was the principal of Blackwell. Yeah, well. You saw what that got him, though. He was drunk on campus out in the middle of the night, which is not good. I already saw this one. Man, I don't blame the principal for expelling oh, I wanted to see one on Max. Bad, Chloe. Is there one on Max? Yo, Chloe. Max, you better come check out these files. Okay. Nathan accuses Rachel of bringing drugs on campus, and my step troll went along because he thinks Rachel was a bad influence on me. She was. Assholes. If David is teaming up with Nathan Prescott, that's a bad sign. Nathan Prescott the third. Ooh, he's so money. And you know the Prescotts dropped major bank to bury Nathan's real file. Look, it reads like a rap sheet. Bad grades, teacher complaints, secret probation. But I was expelled? The Prescotts always get their money's worth. Yeah. Check out that note. Open it. It's just some crazy drawing. It's not a drawing. Look. Rachel in the dark room. Rachel oh, in the no. dark room. Over and over. Oh. That's it. That's fucked up. What does this even mean? Nathan is truly... The truth is coming out. I know he has something to do with Rachel missing. Whoa, listen to this. David M. always asks what's going on in my head. David M. always helps me follow those he follows. It's pretty cryptic. No, it sounds like they formed some sort of weird team, the Super Hebros. Jesus. David was stalking Kate, hassling me, and now we know he was all over Rachel, too. Oh, we are so going into his garage files. Nope, bad idea. I'm getting a little paranoid in here. We got our info. Let's bail. But maybe we shouldn't leave without a gift. Bad idea. No, you are not taking the cozy chair. Max, do your powers include mind reading? Or did you just rewind? Those chairs suck anyway. Chair? Why do you want it? Shit, I'm confused. It's the powers of best friendship. I know how you roll. We should definitely get out of here. We pressed our luck enough. Hello. How do you know how she here? rolls? You've only known Holy this shit. version of Chloe for Jack like a day and a half. Wow, sir. That's a lot for the handicapped fund. Dude, there's five thousand dollars here. Yeah. I could pay Frank back tonight. You're not taking it though. Chill him out after our knife showdown yesterday. It ain't yo, you ain't taking it. Are you gonna make a big issue out of this? Yes. Or just rewind and take the greenbacks for yourself. No, you're not taking, no one's taking the money. I'm not taking the money, you ain't taking the money. Ain't no one taking the money. You really want to take money from the handicapped fund? We're not leaving I'm any trace of our presence up, here. I've got my power Plus, to protect Plus, yes, you, right? that's There's for the handicapped fund. That horse choking wad of cash. But yes, Moral Max is right again. I guess. Let's get the hell out of this office, Morg. Douche. Man, she sucks. <laughs> I know that money would have helped Chloe and me. So what? <laughs> and it's not your money. That yeah, scares yeah. Me. A lot of money is probably going to help anybody. Spin, the Blackwell pool is ours. But it's not yours. You want to take that risk now? It's been a crazy. You can't just you take it because you need it. <laughs> so if he pops a cap in my skull, that's not how the world works. A little carefree fun for a few minutes. Splish splash. You're right. We hella deserve it. Splish splash. Did you actually just say hella? <sighs> yes, Chloe. You are a bad influence on Max, just like Rachel was on you. You're carrying the tradition.
They're just pressing their luck now. Honestly. Leave. You got what you came for. We're in the otter's lair. Big fucking deal. I want that heated water. We still have to play it cool, okay? I still go to school here. Yeah, exactly. You own this hellhole once you figure out your rewind power. Chloe is so psyched for girls' night out. Oh my god. You better follow her evil plan. No, 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 no. Girls' night out is like... You go and you go and you have some dinner together. Maybe you, you go watch a movie. Or you go do your favorite mutual hobby. Maybe you just stay in and you play board games or whatever. Chat, whatever. This is breaking and entering. <laughs> this is trespassing. Into a private school. They could get arrested. <laughs> like, this isn't girls' night out. Come on. Boys or girls? <sighs> We're already in deep. We might as well go whole hog. Boys, of course. Figures. Perv. Let me check to see if the pool's heated. Ooh. So bad. We're going to the boys' locker room. It's so bad. <laughs> oh, I can't believe I'm in the boys' locker room. <laughs> We're not going to spy on Warren's stuff. No. An e cigarette. Some poor hipster lost their vape. Ha ha ha. Ha ha, funny. Lost vape. Well, that's not reassuring. No, thank you. Okay. Where are we going? Dana needs a baby daddy. Well, that's not cool. Okay. I think he's... Yeah. Hey, Chloe. I don't like you and what you're doing right now, so stop. Let's try to find the light for the pool. I want to see the sharks. What? Otters don't like sharks. They bite. So do I. Hit that light. Chloe, are you still like 12? Come on. Jesus. These scared. That scared me. I didn't like that. <laughs> God. So stupid and dumb. We need to leave. We shouldn't have come here in the first place. And now that we've gotten what they came for gotta leave don't hang around it's like if you robbed a bank and you just chilled out in the lobby talking <laughs> you gotta leave god okay i don't know where i'm going the lifeguard station there has to be a control panel for the lights around here it's not going to be in this drawer i don't know why yes, i clicked it we get it Otters. Yeah? You were excited about the otters just a second ago. Okay. Otter go, Otter Goal Fall 2013. This game takes place in 2013. It came out in 2015, though. Why this game taking place two years in the past, huh? She planned this. She was wearing a swimsuit. She planned this. God, Chloe. Why do you suck so much? <laughs> Unless that's just her normal underwear, in which it's weird because it looks like a swimsuit. <laughs> Chloe. Oh yeah, baby. It feels like a hot tub. Too bad you made me feel like the queen of assholes because I wanted that cash stash. Tell me you're not going to stand there. It's not your house. money. Don't you dare. Come stop me, hippie. Okay, you ask. For Hipster. It. There's a difference. All right. Cowbunga. See like that looks like underwear. 
Chloe's looks like a Why, swimsuit. An otter in my water. Dun, 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 dun. You are so obvious. And I still get freaked out by that movie, so stop. I can't even watch any of those shark shows. <laughs> I'll just rewind and harpoon you. Otter's revenge. Cheater. What? Yeah, you wouldn't know Harpoon? <laughs> I'm just a rewind time and murder you. Let me just impale you. I wish Rachel was here. <laughs> she would totally love being in here at night. Wish you guys had met each other. <laughs> well, T posing in the water. <laughs> I think everything is related, and I want to find out for Kate's sake. She almost died today. Your power is changing everything, Max. Especially you. Yeah. I can already yeah, tell. You could have you could have gone You're and talked to Kate instead of anymore. galloping Thanks, illegally you with I mean. Chloe. You're becoming like this force of nature. More like luck of nature. Come on, my power failed trying to rescue Kate. It did not. What? I'm just stumbling back and forth in time. For what reason? You didn't stumble when you saved me, Max. I mean, I did. There was that one time where you did get hit by the train, but then I rewinded the time so that I didn't stumble. What if I had, though? Thank God. But what if I had? What if Kate didn't jump, but you would be dead? So it's time to start moving forward in time. And we're obviously connected, since without me, you would have never discovered your power, right? Yeah. Well, I mean, maybe eventually. I don't know. Probably eventually. Well, I do, okay. So, just listen to Captain Chloe. I'm trying. I will not call you that. As long as we don't waste this power. Stop being so goddamn humble. You're like the smartest, most talented person I've ever known. More than Rachel Amber? Dude, I'm not her groupie, okay? And I'm sure you have Blackwell bros all over you. Like Warren. That's one bro. Warren is nice. Warren is nice. <laughs> nice? Ouch. That means friend zone. Yeah. No, he's really cool. It was so sweet when he stood up to Nathan. But I haven't told him about my rewind power. No worries. He Don't would love that. Yourself, he would absolutely about. eat as that up. There, you should tell him. <laughs> Don't look so sad. I'm never leaving you. Can you he would flip. He would be like, that's wicked. <laughs> because we're yapping instead of attacking each other. I He'd be like, it's that, style. it's like that one I, uh, uh, obscure old movie here. that's in the public domain now Let's that nobody knows about. Let's call it a draw. I'm going to freeze my ass off when I get out. I feel like we just went swimming in Chlorine Bay. You look cute with your hair soaked in chemicals. Don't talk to me like that, Chloe. No. <laughs> Hi. Don't yell. He's across the room. It like. <laughs> oh God! Oh God! Oh God! Move, Max. Don't waste your power on getting busted. You're shitting me. Oh my god. Run! He had to have noticed Dude, that. Hide. Come on. Kids. David. I could use my power. Or just look for a hiding spot. Or both. Just look for a hiding spot. Oh, right. well. <laughs> is he like. Are there two right security people or is he just teleporting around? The heck? <laughs> Where are they? Hello? Hello. I feel like this is a terrible hiding spot. I feel like he's totally gonna come down here and check all the stalls. Don't you dare. Hello? Uh, are you there? No. 
He didn't. What an idiot. Idiot. Try any Halloween pranks after today. Serious. Who wouldn't check the stalls? I heard something over here. Douche. Who's here? Yo, mama. <laughs> How long do I have to wait? There's probably going to be like an audio cue about when he leaves. Is he gone? Are we good? Good? Chloe? Huh? Yeah? Woo! What does it say? No, he, no, she doesn't. Chloe? Hello? <laughs> I found her. <laughs> Okay. All right. We are so invisible. No, don't celebrate. Fail. Leave. Man, she a bad influence. I'm telling you. Wait. Turn around. They're coming. We have to find another way out. <laughs> oh, Where's security shit. ever? You can't go back to your dorm now. You're a Blackwell fugitive. He wasn't even looking like around. You want me to crash with the Blackwell he would have seen them if he had just turned his head a little bit. Uh, okay. Worst Into security guard. Like, your job is to watch the campus and your head's not on a swivel the whole time? Like, come on. <laughs> Later, fuckers! Max, you rock! Even I do that without even being paid. <laughs> Like, I'm always looking around. Don't be so loud! Chloe, you're supposed to be stealthy. Man, she sucks. I hate her bedroom. I'm just complaining at this point. <laughs> no, I like this game. This is one of my favorites. But Chloe's not one of my favorites. You sure can sleep because you're doing it right now, Chloe. Wakey, wakey, Maxine. Where did she get pajamas? Is that Chloe's clothes? No way they're the same size. Max is so much smaller. I guess we're taking a Always selfie. Remember this moment. Photo bomb. Photo hog. Like Max is smaller in every way. She's shorter, she's thinner, she has smaller proportions. No way that Chloe's clothes fit that well. <laughs> we left a skid mark on Blackwell last night. Like it needs another one. I'd like to do something good for my school in Arcadia Bay. I can't even submit my photo to represent. I just don't want to be rejected. Every great artist gets rejected before they get accepted. So you have to enter a photo. Even though I'm pimping the school in town, you want to torch? The sinking is just, it's not even uh, trying. I don't want to see Arcadia Bay burn to the shore. I just say shit like that because I'm trying to get out of here since, since you left, basically. I could find Rachel, then pay Frank off. I'm still leaving to start a whole new life. I wish we could just hang out all morning like we used to. Play pirates? Maybe we should get up. I have to get back to Blackwell soon. Oh, does the schoolgirl have a test today? Yeah, probably. I'm starting to feel like going to Blackwell every day is a test. 
I just need to get on my regular school schedule again. Chloe, you really do suck. You're, like, disparaging her for going to school. What's wrong with you? <laughs> like, she's doing something good and constructive for her life while you just kind of, like... Okay, I need to get dressed. ...lay around, smoke weed, and break into schools. By the way, the drive-in is actually popular, so I'm buying the ticks now. I'll take care of the popcorn. In other words, you can't back out now. Oh, Warren. Where are my clothes? Where are my clothes? There are my clothes. The one outfit that she owns? Reeks like a chlorine factory. Am I gonna go... find a suitable outfit in my fashion hole. I'm gonna go get dressed as Chloe with okay. clothes that are most How certainly to too big Chloe for Max. Hey, there you go. Rachel left a bunch of her clothes with me. Oh, She's your Rachel, style. who is also probably Max, a few sizes bigger than Max. <laughs> so no matter what, these clothes are not gonna you look good on Max. Always rewind back to your She's gonna look frumpy you AF. Jeans. You suck. I like my shirt and jeans. But it would be cool to try on Rachel's clothes. Just to see if they fit. They won't. Stop second guessing yourself, Max. Put this on and let your inner punk rock girl come out. You can afford to take chances whenever and whatever you want to try. For example, I dare you to kiss me. Uh, I won't be doing that. I double dare you. Kiss me now. I won't be doing that. Sorry, not that easy. Oh, like I am? Just admit that you already macked on me, then used your rewind. Now I can text Warren that you're saving yourself all for I mean, I, am so I bet a lot of people did. Friend you for that. But I didn't, you I saw. I love that Chloe is so fearless. Was that fearless or was that just creepy? I think it was probably more on the creepy side. Looking sick, Max. A couple wow. of tats, some piercings, and we'll make a thrasher out of you yet. Ready for the mosh pit, Shaka bra. Maybe not. Is it just me, or is that outfit not like too crazy? I have to uh, wake and bake first. I promise not to. It really isn't all that like. Let's not rewind and find out, okay? Radical, you know. <laughs> like it's just like a flannel shirt and a t-shirt and jeans. So, yeah, it's got like rips and stuff, but it's not. I wouldn't say that's like punk girl or anything. Like it's just you know, clothes. <laughs> oh my god, that smells so amazing. Oh, it gets like a hate. Thank you, from my heart, for reaching out to me on the roof. You're the only one who was there for me at school. The only one who truly cared. I have to believe you were sent to give me hope. You did so much more than that. My father is grateful as well. You'll always be in our prayers. Love and blessings. Your friend Kate. Oh, isn't that nice? Bless her heart. Hey, Kate. I'm so glad you're okay. I will visit you as soon as I can. A promise. I want to do that right now. It's like when we were kids. Here. Right now. Right this minute. Who cares about breakfast? The loving friendship of Kate is all that I need for sustenance. <laughs> <laughs> hey Joyce. Good morning, Joyce. Rachel. Uh, I mean Max. Oh, you startled me. Well, you fit those clothes well. What a weird slip. You're not a hellraiser like her or Chloe. Now tell me exactly what you want. No do. way you're telling me that Rachel Amber, the girl that I saw in the Before the Storm game, is the same size as Maxine Caulfield. Max is tiny. Rachel and Chloe. I think Rachel was taller than Chloe, wasn't she? <laughs> Come on. These cl these clothes should... I'm focusing a lot on that, but these clothes should not be fitting her like this. <laughs> um, so go egg and bakey. Eggs and bacon all the way. Remember when you guys would sleep in until I yelled out, Wakey, wakey, eggs and bakey. Totally. We wake up so fast. So this time you can help me with the ingredients. I need you to grab me the actual eggs and the bacon. Yeah. I can handle eggs and bacon. 
Who keeps a TV in their kitchen? I guess if you want to watch like the morning news while you're cooking breakfast, but you know. I should evolve and become a vegan. I mean, their friggin' living room is right next to the thing. Yeah, she could put it on there. She could prep. Well, you can't really see it if you're like standing here. You can hear it if you turn it up loud enough. Whatever. <laughs> the eggs always come first, as Joyce used to say. Except I got the bacon first, but that we she didn't have to know. Thanks. <laughs> After all these years and everything that's happened, it's great to see you and Chloe together again. She hasn't had a good friend since you or Rachel. Oh, those clothes remind me so much of her. Such a sweet girl. I'm just hoping she's living large in L.A. I'd love to think that too, Joyce. Uh... We are on the same page, Max. I keep hoping that Rachel will show up or even send a message to Chloe from Hollywood. Uh... Yeah, I wouldn't hold your breath. <laughs> I hate to even think this, much less say it out loud, but I think Rachel is in serious trouble. Well, not anymore. I watch those awful true crime shows, and it makes me ill if I think about Rachel ending up on one. So I don't think too much. I see why Chloe is so obsessed with finding her. Yeah. <laughs> Max Caulfield, are you actually jealous of Rachel? Maybe a little bit. Maybe a little bit. Shouldn't be though. What? Uh, no way. I know You're way I'm cooler and a better her. person than she was. I'm glad Chloe found a better <laughs> friend. No, just a different one. Last time I saw you and Chloe in your pirate outfits, I knew she would never find a better friend. I just wish you could have stopped Chloe from getting busted by David for that joint. I know. But it seems like Chloe and me were pirates a thousand years ago. And that makes me, what, a century old? <laughs> You're only 18, Max. Oh, youth. If only I could go back. It's not all that, Joyce. Voila, a breakfast fit for us queens. And a king. <laughs> go sit at the table. Did she seriously just try to, like, <laughs> play the... It's worse than you think to the the friggin' probably pushing 50s, working at a diner, barely making any money to keep the household running, uh, mother. <laughs> it's not it's not as good as you think, Joyce, and it's like, oh, well. My experiences don't matter then, I guess. <laughs> All right, breaky time. Just be a total brat about it. Just we want food. Breakfast, breakfast, breakfast. Bring it, bring it, bring it now. Thank, Thank you, so Joyce. Much, Joyce. I'm never leaving this table. Good. What a sweetheart. What a sweetie pie. Eat it. I don't get it. How can you have a mother that that pleasant and nice and then turn out like Chloe did? <laughs> Ugh. God. Okay, peanut butter. Blah, blah, blah. Am I just done? She didn't even finish. Do I just have to look around? I guess nobody waters the plant here. Oh my god, did I water the plant before Same I left the dorm? Oh, I don't think I did it this time. So Tina. These photos don't Lisa? Lisa. Marks. My favorite photographers probably take pictures similar to yours. You make David happy, Joyce. Uh-huh. He wants us all to be happy, Max. He's just not great at showing it. I know exactly what you mean. I don't think I can rock this outfit like Rachel. You have your own cool style. I am. Uh... Wow, sir. I totally remember that day. 
I'm glad. William took this picture with his instant camera. <laughs> oh, it was the last picture. My instant camera now. He had his car out right after this. And, and oof. I know, Joyce. That's a big oofa toofa. I'm sorry. I didn't show you this to be morbid. In fact, <laughs> morbid. I want you to have this. This was when my baby was so full of life and light. She was hopeful, positive. Yeah. And everything she's not today. Yeah, look how nice Chloe looked this back was the then. Last time I ever saw Chloe truly happy. Yeah. And I know later on we get like flashbacks and stuff where we see it. Did you guys have a bonding session about how And she's up like It's not always about Yeah. You. Yeah, that's Chloe, exactly what was happening, Chloe. It's too early to start picking a fight. Feed instead. I'll keep the warden busy while you go peek in the garage. Now stop whispering or I'll know you're talking about me. Stop being so nosy, mother. Jeez, I can't do anything around here without everybody getting up in my shit. Oh, no one can even joke with you, <sighs> Chloe. You fly off the handle like that. Excuse me. Yeah, she I have to sucks. use the bathroom. Sure, run off and pee when you should back me up. Now, she who's being paranoid? Just listen to yourself. Nobody else does. Max, don't go along with this. I do need to get into David's. <sighs> You're feeding her delinquency. You gotta be hiding shit. I don't feel good about this. I'm supposed to be the video game boy. I'm supposed to be making the decisions here. Not you, Max. Huh? Huh? No shit, it needs a password. How about step douche? Try again. <sighs> I need more clues. <sighs> Max. Max. Nothing to see here. Cute. Can't picture David huh? and Joyce around Dead married. on the car. What do you mean? He's a nice dude. He's definitely one of those guys that has like that stern exterior that you can't really like see through, but then once they're around people that they love and they're comfortable, then the fun silly stuff comes out. Because everyone's got that in them, you know. Everyone's got that sense of humor. Everyone's got the fun in them. And you just have to be in the right moment to let it out, you know. And I assume that when he's with Joyce, that's probably when it comes out. When he gets that love and feeling, you know. Joyce might as well have wrote, let's get married. It was an honor having you in the diner. Nice to know that gentlemen still exist. Love to talk to you again soon. By the way, the name is Joyce if you forgot. That might be a useful password. Yeah, see, he keeps this. That's how you know that he, he's feeling it. He's got that loving feeling. He kept their first correspondence. He keeps it up in the car. All the time. Though this might be Joyce's car. Because David's not home. Though he might be home. I don't know. I don't know when he goes to work. I don't know his work schedule. Uh, M2708. That seems like a better, good, gooder code than any. Family. 112708. Oh, that was an 11, not an M. Score. Max the hacker strikes again. Yeah, that's not hacking. Whoa. Spoiler alert, Rachel definitely hooked up with Frank. But why does David care? Because he cares? What do you mean, why does he care? He cares because he cares about her safety. And this is the only way that he knows how to do it, because he's like, I gotta know what's happening, I gotta do something to protect her. Right? Like, come on. <laughs> The best friend of your stepdaughter, whom you care about and love, is doing some shady stuff and getting into trouble and possibly into danger. Yeah, you're going to be worried and you're going to care. <laughs> Instead of stalking Kate, David could have helped her. Follows same path to every class over Kate and Dana W. 
talking about supplies for Vortex Little Party. Drugs? Watch Kate with her church group. She knows her Bible. Kate stays in bathroom longer than other students. Drugs? Say, Kate saw Kate helping Jefferson after class. Don't trust grown men with goatees. <laughs> Kate has kept herself since Vortex Club. Has kept to herself since Vortex Club. Probably not even church. Drugs? Tried to talk to Kate about the party. She got upset and ran. Guilty? Man. This is so wrong. This whole game. Oh, creepy bastard. Max Factor. Mad Max. Noir Angel. This whole game is just... It paints David as the bad guy because he goes overboard and does some creepy stuff. Um, but by the end, we, tur we find out that he wasn't wrong. <laughs> he was not wrong at all to be concerned about any of this. <laughs> but yeah, he we, he goes overboard and takes things too far, definitely. But God, it kind of gets results though. You know? The class schedule. I don't noir angel. Did you come up with that? Why noir angel? <laughs> I get the other I ones. I tell Chloe about this now. Oh, it's just one more thing to make her sad. And mad. So what? Don't tell her. Shouldn't have done this anyway. Is that a bong? Or is that just a pot? It's just a pot. A vase. Hey, Joyce. What's up? Oh, I should know that Chloe can't get through an hour without creating drama. No, and it sucks. I hate people like that. What's up, David? Nice breakfast. David, you, you back already? I have to take a nap after writing up vandalism reports last night. What happened? Some little shit-ass punks broke into the swimming pool. <laughs> this is what happens at these PC bullshit colleges. Entitled students taking over the campus. Simmer down. Do you know for sure it was Blackwell students? It Who was a Blackwell student. And I'm gonna bust them. You look guilty, Max. Be here. Is that your Rachel Amber Halloween costume? You know more about her than me. Don't get sassy, you Max. Chloe think you know more than no, no, no. Escalating. Like You're escalating the problem. No, no, no. Leave Max alone. David. Simmer down. Stop threatening students. He threatens whoa, them whoa, whoa. Chill, chill everybody. everybody. Like he spies on all of us here. Don't start, Chloe. Not now. Yeah, I'm just always starting shit, right? You're a total paranoid, David. Not now, Chloe. He's chill, 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 chill. Everybody, Blackwell. chill. So who's the loser now, David? Who haven't you accused or harassed? Between your investigations into Rachel and Kate, what have you done besides get in trouble? I'm siding with David. Listen, Screw you, Chloe. We don't know that David did anything, and nobody has any proof against him. As far as we know, it's Nathan Prescott who's the real threat so far. I would cut David Slack here. Oh, would you? Yes! You're generous, King Max. So suddenly it doesn't matter how shady David has been acting. Or that he keeps all those weird files on your classmates. Or how you're always going off on how creepy David Enough. is. I don't want anybody being accused of anything. There's been too much of that crap going on around here lately, and I don't want it in my home today. Well, yeah. I agree with that. You tell him, Joyce now, and David. If you all don't mind, I'd like to forget about work and sit down. Yeah. And eat some of this. The man was just rub. pulling a Back night shift as a security guard next. doing paperwork. Chill. <laughs> He's probably physically and mentally places. exhausted, and he needs time to just chill with the woman he loves, eating breakfast, and unwinding. And somebody had to go and make things worse. Max. And mostly Chloe, but Max, she initiated it. What's wrong with her? Come on. Thanks for letting me down again, Max. No, I screw you. Line so I don't have to see you defending that asshole. Boo! Who cares? I was right. David's right. You're wrong. Screw you. Man. <sighs> I 
I'm ending it. I'm ending it here. I freaking got. God 